Hey everyone, welcome to a brand new Disney World vlog. Really excited to be heading back to Walt Disney World. It's only been a couple of months since we were there at Christmas, but this time we're tying it in with our first ever Disney cruise on the Disney Dream. We're flying with Virgin Atlantic in premium economy, which I'm very excited about. We're flying early February, and due to that, Virgin Atlantic only have one flight on a day to Orlando, and this is the later flight of 235. So we're going to get into Florida a little later than we used to. We've got some really exciting things planned for this trip, including our first experience of World Celebration in Epcot, the new nighttime show Luminous. Uh, we also are doing the Keys to the Kingdom tour in Magic Kingdom, which I'm very excited for to see behind the scenes of how everything works in Magic Kingdom. Uh, we're going to try some new restaurants that we haven't done before, so uh, make sure you stick around because I'm really excited about all the things that we're going to get up to this time. If you're new, welcome. If you're returning, welcome back. Remember to subscribe and hit that bell icon so that you're notified when my new videos go up. They normally go up on Sundays at 6 o'clock UK time. Don't want to miss them because there's going to be some really exciting videos coming. Also, if you can make sure that you like and comment on the videos, really helps out other people who are looking for Disney vlogs, find my content, um, and it really helps support small channels like myself. So, just need to finish off getting... I need to stop saying so. Need to stop saying so in all my videos. Now, just need to finish off packing, get everything into the suitcases, and then we're going to head over to Heathrow Airport. So, so, it's that day again! Very easy journey for us. Um, we're now at Heathrow Terminal 3, ready to go around uh, the bags off. Say, so, oh goodness, say hi to Mac. Hi. So we just arrived at Virgin's uh, desk. As we're premium, we're gonna go to the premium section. Yeah, boy. So let's go drop off these bags. We've got three bags between us, so one each for Disney World and we're sharing a cruise one. So, uh, doing it again, saying so. I'm gonna stop challenge, stop saying so, starting now. Once again, flew through security. Five minutes. Speedy. Speedy. It's not that busy. We didn't have to queue or anything, so uh, yeah. Been lucky with Heathrow twice now. Someone has to go to the I had to be, yeah, had to be body scanned, uh, it's just not, not my day at the moment and um, once we find a quiet place I'll uh, fill you in on the dramas that's happened so far, leave you in suspense. So we've come to the create, curator, curator for some food, uh, I'm just going to have the all day brunch because I feel like it's a crime to come to the airport and not get breakfast, no matter what time it is. And Matt's going for the crispy chicken and chips, giant Yorkshire pudding wrap. So. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Okay, gonna spill the tea quickly while we're waiting for our food. So, booked premium economy through a flight reward or reward flight uh, using miles that are collected. Um, and my flying account is actually has me down as Ben. So the ticket was booked as Ben, but my passport is known as Benjamin. So when we went to drop the bags, the uh, flight crew person was like, the, who booked the ticket, the name doesn't match. So then I had to go to customer services and they weren't able to change the name on the ticket because it was a reward flight. Nightmare, but we managed to drop the bags off. Um, don't know what's gonna happen for like the remainder of the flight, like when we board, but we'll wait and see. But I phoned the Virgin Flying Club and they've changed the name of my account, but the ticket's not changed yet. Um, she can't do it because I'm already checked in, so it just caused issues. Just put a note on the account, so um, watch this space, we'll let you know how I get on. She also said, so I'm gonna phone when we land, so tomorrow, and get them to change my return flight to be the correct name. So uh, hopefully, fingers crossed, as soon as we get into Orlando, it's all gonna be okay. After being on hold for over an hour trying to get through to Virgin Atlantic, they told me I couldn't change the name of my inbound flight because it was part of an incomplete journey. Focus, focus, focus. 
Fry up, no mushrooms, no tomatoes, but hot plates, some toast, and that Yorkshire pudding wrap looks great. Mm. Now, eating all our breakfast, or my breakfast, I got very much food envy from Matt with his Yorkshire pudding wrap. He's gonna have a smug look on his face, uh, so uh, yeah, now we're gonna. We've only got about 40 minutes until we're uh, boarding, so we kind of timed that quite well. Very well. We're on the longest walk ever to get to the toilets. <laughs> the signs are not clear at all. So we came out, followed the sign, and it was like, nope. Then we went down into like the posh area with like Gucci and all that. And it just took us back into this area here. We went to found some, and then the man was like, no, men's aren't working. So you have to go to duty free. So now we're going to duty three, which is where we were originally heading before we <laughs> went back. It's just a bit of a just nightmare. The whole airport. Yeah, see all this little friends. tour, tour of the airport. All right, toilets this way. So of course, unprepared, unorganised, and I forgot some kind, some time lotion. So now I'm having to pay boots extortion price to get some time lotion. And the hilarious thing was, it was hardly used. But kids, don't forget to wear sunblock. There we are, 235, go to gate 21. Just a blurry mess. Why we was on the longest walk from uh, so far to go. Did you know there's a website that lets you buy abandoned luggage from hotel, from like airports? Yeah, so you could buy a luggage, some luggage that no one's claimed Why? and like see... Why would you... Do you not think that would be quite interesting to see what people have packed in there though? It would be interesting to see... One to five minute walk, no, oh, great. I would... What you wouldn't do if, you know, you patch someone's suitcase and it's a 75 year old lady. It would be quite interesting to see like, speculating where she was going. What she packed. Oh, no. So she's got a bikini or a... Ooh. Ooh. No, thank you. Hello, Mr. Pilot. We're on a beauty queen this time. And from this point forward, I have Marina and the Diamond stuck in my head. Beauty queen on a silver screen. Living life like I'm in a dream because I'm going to Disney. Right, let's see if I get pulled up now because of my ticket. Okay, we're on the we're on the, the runway. No, what's this called? This is the front. Yeah. We're getting on the plane, and she didn't even bat an eye. Have a nice flight, she said. And I went. I'll have a nice flight. Despite default, I always go. Oh, thank you, you two. Oh, uh, you're not flying here actually. You're just. I said that yesterday with my MOT, where he was like, have a nice holiday, and I was like, you too, and then I was like, actually no, not you too, because you're not actually flying, so, uh, yeah. Mortifying. Of course I can never show my face there again. I have curiosity, does anyone know a good garage in South London that does an MOT? We're getting on. Thank you. Hello. Lovely, straight across and then right. Thank you very much. 22, this is us. I don't know about you, but I'm feeling 22. We're on. We're on. Look at this leg room. Right there we know. Look at me on that. I wanna fly. Yeah, on me on this. Ah, this one. Yeah. Back of the bus. Back of the peasant. The charger. Now. It's very hot here. Yeah. Oh yeah, let's get, let's get that AC on. Oh, what do you mean? The menu. So with a drink, peruse the menu and be along shortly to take your order. We actually uh, booked or selected our food beforehand. Yep. So I've gone for the chicken lasagna. Yeah. I went for the chicken lasagna, yeah. Interesting. To be honest, I could eat any of those. Yeah, I wouldn't go for the stew, but it sounds lovely. Matt's gone for the Thai green curry. Thai green vegetable curry. The curry. Are you going to have Mahai tea or Mahai picnic? Or oh, was it Quiche Lorraine? I love a Quiche Lorraine. Yeah, that's the one. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Living high life. Glass, glass, cheers. So you shouldn't have to drink bubbles when you're in the air. It's not actually good for your body. So, but because we're still sat on the ground, as you can see that, uh, we're gonna have the bubbles now. Yummy. The whole thing's to do with air pressure causing gas in the body to expand. It's just a way to make sure that you're not feeling bloated and you feel a bit more comfortable during the flight. Those of you from the last series will remember my tip about putting <laughs> Apple AirTags into uh, the into your suitcase, and mine wasn't updating. It's not updating again, but we're 13 minutes out, but it is currently with me, so at least it's on the plane. For Christmas, man got these AirFly, got this AirFly adapter, which allows you to use AirPods with uh, the on-screen entertainment. So what do you need to do to so turn it on? Turn it on so that it's an orange and white. Uh, pairing mode, and then if you have the airports, put them into the pairing case uh, and press the button on the back so that you get a flash. Back in the air, Jack. That one's now solid white. That's the flight, it's a solid white. You are connected. Double check. Can you hear? Yeah? <laughs> One of the benefits with uh, AirPods is that you can use the noise cancellation to get yeah. pain is quite loud when you're flying. So I found that on my AirPod Max that I'll sit with them on even just to drown out the noise, not oh, yeah, necessarily yeah. just to listen to anything. Yes, they are very beneficial. Flight time today is 9 hours and 35 minutes. flight time, which is very really great because it's normally like 10 hours, 10 minutes. So, quick flight today. Quick, nice. quick flight, just popping over, yeah. We'll be back before tea time. Just moved away from the terminal. We're moving. We're officially going to Orlando. It's also cooled down considerably. Yeah, so no longer hot. That's actually a bit too late. Touch me. Ooh, naughty. Okie doke. Okay, let's go. Matt just didn't know how to use the screen. So it's like the season one, the next episode. Next episode. Timing coming to get Daniel. Episode. Oh. Episode. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so you're wrong. <laughs> it is all the episodes. You can imagine that. It just hooks you in. <laughs> Great. And then you're stuck for another eight hours not knowing what happens. Oh. We can have some food now. Just a little tray out. This is the dinner. So my chicken lasagna. From in a ceramic. Right? Two chicken lasagna. 
which looks quite nice. A little cheese thing. Red bow. This is some cherry thing. I don't know what it was. Cherry. It's Matt's Thai green curry. Which is uh, it's pretty good. You come with the little uh, salt and pepper shakers. The salt and pepper shakers is a pinch from Virgin Atlantic. So pepper and salt. And as Matt's pointing out, proper cutlery. Oh, Oh, you're getting my wooden wooden spoons, yeah. They don't do Fanta, but we got some orange juice. He's gonna bring some lemonade as well. I'm gonna mix them together. Because I'm just that smart. That was your very bigger or you get more room on those ones and as a little perk from them they actually give you red salt and pepper shakers um, they're like exclusively just for those and he said there's only like two sets on the, the entire plane at a time um, but he also said that they at christmas like on christmas day they give you red ones and he said on halloween last year they had purple purple ones so uh got to collect them all got to catch them all Drinks again, come around, Matt has had his coffee in a, in a cup, mug, mug, a ceramic mug. That was really craving nice. <laughs> Same. I can hardly control my excitement. The sport rooms, the North IT. Two options. Just get in the menu so you can see. So you've got North IT, which is finger sandwiches, Emmental, is that what you said? Emmental, roast tomato, rocket, cream cheese, cucumber, coconut, blueberry, like macaron, scone. <laughs> uh, I've got the Malhai picnic, which is uh, buttermilk browns, chicken, and red pepper, tapenade, spinach, and hot bread, quiche de salmon, baby, and all in school. And this one's for the Last seen five hours ago. 
in the Labrador Sea. Just in the middle of the sea. So, um, hopefully it didn't fall out. Then we're looking at the room. That's there. It's just like, yeah, we made it. I've just got to go through immigration. So we'll see you on the other side. And that was the best uh, immigration and bag collection ever. I flew through. It flew through the immigration like five minutes. And, um, like, our cruise suitcase was the second one to come onto the carousel. My one was, uh, like, fifth, and Matt's was probably, like, 20th, so, great. Now we're just gonna get the, uh, middle one around, over to the terminal, where we're gonna go and grab a Uber. Good to be back in this uh, terminal. Right. We have to go down, right? To down, yeah. One, and then order the Uber from there. We also probably could have ordered it back there, um, just to give it a bit more time, but we didn't. I'm gonna navigate, master this back in uh, England. Ooh. Almost lost it, but yeah, did it. Hey, Matt. We had some trouble getting Matt's phone to connect to my hotspot. Matt's changed contracts since we last came, and so he's got no roaming. So we're trying to maximise see his use of his phone, but um, really wanted to use it because the last few times we've been here, I've signed up for Uber One and. The, the Lyft premium service where you get an extra percentage off uh, so we're going to get Matt to do it but we're going to access the data but um, Uber was looking to charge that's past $70 to go to Pop Century I realised I didn't actually tell you we were staying at Pop Century but we're staying at Pop Century and we get an Uber um, whereas Lyft was only $46 uh, which works out at £36 so Two people, fifteen pounds, which I think is probably very similar to Mia's Connect, powered by Sunshine, driven by Sunshine. So it's kind of worth it. We've got four cases between us, um, and we just really want to get to the hotel. At this point, it's, it's five to eight, which means it's five to one o'clock in part time. How was your flight? My flight, it was good. Um, it was very smooth. There was like hardly any determinants at all. Which is good. Uh, the legroom difference was noticeable. However, the person in front of me, every opportunity was taking the opportunity to put his seat back, which he was. I know there's arguments like we pay, you paid for that seat, so you're going to do what you want. But also, I paid for the legroom, so by you pushing your seat back, you're hindering the amount of legroom that I get. So. I, I just don't, I think all pain should make seats non reclinable like, unless you're in first class where it's not going to impact yeah. anyone. Yeah, or, well, you know, the first class are pods, yeah. essentially, so, so you, you want to lie down. And you don't affect anyone, whereas when everyone else is one behind yeah. each other. Um, but no, it was a very, very nice flight. Were great, oh, like very nice. So, uh, had a chat with one of the uh, stewards just telling us how he's uh, used to work on the Disney Wish Magic, one of the first two. Yeah, um, he's done 24 cruises, so he's one away from getting his pearl status. Um, yeah, very friendly, very chatty. Um, told us about uh, Remy's. Oh, yeah. recommendation of his spending great desserts, but great desserts. Yeah. Um, and you know it's, it's, it's the front of the ship for this and, you know, yeah just some little tips which is great to great to have but yeah the cabin crew were, were great on that flight yeah sure. Breath. 
difference over BA, in my opinion. I know BA is cheaper, but you pay for the extra. Sure. It's just to be a bit more chatty, BA, you know. And the food needs to be better on BA. Eventually, our lift arrived and we began the final stint of our travel. Disney World! Here we are again! Back up up the tree. Technically, the room is just in Matt's name. Uh, so, I got my annual pass and we booked through Disney's UK offer. I'll tell you more about that when we get to the room. But we've got a scene now about adding me on as a day guest, which when we were here in December, they assured us that is something we can do, so let's hope it's true. Check-in was painless, which was good. So it was very easy for them to add me on as a day guest. Couldn't do it with our magic band though, so she didn't think that day guests could use their magic bands to open the doors. So uh, I've just been given a card, key card. Uh, we've been put into the 80s. She said 80s, didn't she? Okay, so that's not as far as the 90s. Oh yeah, the 90s is right in the corner there. Okay, so new decade for us. We thought we were going to be in the 90s, which was really, really far away. And it looks like it's like on the, the outer edge, like we were in the 50s, so the pathway will be straight to the skyline. Okay, we haven't actually been this part of the uh, resort before, so... Oh yeah, that makes sense because we're like 7,000 and something. This is cool. That big Mickey phone. <laughs> that was a big bike. Finding the room took a little bit longer than we expected. Building 9, building 7, yeah? Yeah, we're at building 7. You are here. So we're going to keep going. So it's that building that, no? Yeah. Building seven, floor two. Although, technically, for us, it's first floor. Oh, yeah, yeah. Because they count. Oh, cool. And we've watched that film now, so we know that reference. Our lift driver wasn't very jolly, but he played great songs. Yeah, it was great songs. Lots of Backstreet Boys, and then... The Usher. Usher. Um, There's a lot of um, Backstreet Boys. There's a lot of Backstreet Boys. Uh, what, and uh, Jen Jenny Lopez. Jenny Lopez. Yes, only friends of Jennifer Lopez can call her Jenny Lopez. <laughs> Peacock family, yeah, that's a shoe. Ta da! Ta -da. To the same room that we've been in. It's the same. <laughs> Come in. Don't know if you want a room tour. We've, we've kind of stayed in these. It's the same room as we stayed in before. So you've got a fridge. You have the safe. You have very strange music being played. Give me Tron vibes. Uh, bed. You also got the pull down bed in there as well. Shouldn't have been put back properly. Bathroom. And a separate toilet. Yeah. Give a bit of context around the booking then. With me being an annual pass member, uh, don't really want to book any of the packages that Disney UK do. Normally in April they release their yearly packages which includes dining credit and usually a merchandise gift voucher uh, that includes you having to buy your tickets on top so because we didn't need to buy buy myself a ticket Matt just booked it for himself we got 252 dollars uh, food credit so it's 32 dollars a day I think it is or a night and we're staying for seven nights, so it works at 252 and also a $200 uh, merchandise gift card, which you need to go to Disney Springs World of Disney to collect. And that's as simple as that. We're now going to pop over to the quick service, 
maybe have a little mooch around the shop, get something to eat, get our resort mugs, and then we're gonna come back, shower, unpack, and get ready because we've got a first day in Magic Kingdom tomorrow. Which is exciting about. This area is very cool because it has a giant Walkman, like old school laptop kind of thing, <laughs> some floppy disks. Oh my god, I didn't notice that one. Roger Rabbit. Sethanet. Okay, we've got a bunch of options. We've got burgers, pizza and pasta, or like a create your own. So you can do like a, a meal there. What's that cheesecake? Oh, that I do. Yeah. The new Resort Max as well. The new design. Well, the lid's different as well. No, no, we've got lids like that. The Buzz Lightyear one's the same lid as that. So you've got a green lid, like a teal, pink, orange. You're gonna get teal, eh? We got green. Do we, we don't have an orange, do we? Yeah. Nice. That was a very long queue. But we got a pizza. And I am reunited. And I'm reunited with Minute Maid. <laughs> oh yeah. That's refreshing. <laughs> so there's no ranch anywhere. I said the word so 60 times and that doesn't even include the ones I edited out. Good job I didn't set up a jar to put a dollar in every time I said it. I want brunch. Hopefully it's not a wide quick service thing that they've removed the ranch and Actually, no. you have to pay for it now maybe. We're gonna eat our pizza because I'm hungry. It's getting to that point where the longer you sit down or anything, the more tired you start feeling and soon it'll be time for bed. The third pizza. We've been fed. We've been fed. And watered. Third drink. Gonna determine to get the most out of these this time. Yeah, we didn't do good last time. Or the time before that. No, I think the I think we were all right that time. I mean, it's only been two times before this. Yeah, I, I remember <laughs> quickly But, um, it's like a flag now. I'm all right, yeah. Oh, yeah. You go for a little run. Yes. Yeah, go for a run. Yeah. Okay, not too... F I think it's longer than when we stayed in the 50s walk. Um... Ma, I like I think it's ever so slightly. I think it's ever so long. Gonna go unpack. No. Matt's gonna go for a run. Oh yeah he is. Half he two said half he so. just said when like I said on camera that you said you're gonna go for a run. No, I said I do need to go running whilst on this vacation. No. Hit the playback. Oh, hit the play, play playback. Play yeah. Let's play it back. You go for a little run. Yeah. Go for a run. Go for a run. Go for a run. Go for a run. Footage never lies. All unpacked and showered, and it's time for us to call it a night. Uh, we got early start tomorrow because we are spending our first day in Magic Kingdom where we're going to be doing the Keys of the Kingdom tour which we're very excited about. Very excited! Yes, aren't we Matt? We've got to get up early, I'm sure which won't be a problem because our body clocks will probably have us up at five, six o'clock. Remember to like, comment and subscribe, it really helps my channel out. There's people who are watching my videos but are not subscribed so just adding that little subscription for my channel can really help and let other people who are interested in Disney vlogs find my one. Uh, until next time, see you soon.